Hello everybody and welcome again to the Wolf Among Us. Um, we're now going to start on episode 4. I know uh, people are probably asking me like why do I record and upload one video? Because mostly Thursday is my recording day. I can mostly record on when everyone's out of the house and I don't have anyone to um, be in the background mostly. So Thursdays are my, mostly my recording days and usually if you go to some of the live streams I tweet out or post in uh, Discord or wherever, I will be in there and you can ask me like, hey, what you gonna record next? And um, I think after The Wolf Among Us, I will be recording uh, the Nonary game because I want to get back into that and finish that whole series. And there's another part to it which uh, is called... Um, Zero Time Escape, or I don't know which one it is. It's the other one, and then you got the third game. I think it's Zero Time Dilemma. I don't know. I, I if I got them backwards, I probably did, but um, yeah. So this is gonna be since this is almost done. The next game will be the Nonary game. Hopefully, people will like that and. Yeah. So let's get started. But first is the Wolf Among Us, and we got to deal with fucking Bluebeard. I hate him so much. Let's go. I hope they come out with the second season of this. This it would be great to like see Big B in them again. My voice cracked. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't know how much it costs. The mirror. It's missing a piece. He uh, must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Wait a minute. And I want to roll back. That looked like last time too. Big B, how could you do this to me? Well, I, I guess oh, yeah. I finally see you for who you are. No. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Shotguns and then making the beast come out. <laughs> I didn't kill you, Chris. It was a good show, but you know, just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Oh, that looked painful. I mean, imagine someone stepping on your f arm like that. Ew. I wouldn't want that. Then we got Big B. Back to his normal self. Bad dream. I'm like hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay though. Hmm? He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Tax of what? Easy there. Try not to move. <coughs> You can't keep me this way, old boy. Uh, I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, 
But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh god. This is like Clementine all over again. Just like Clementine all over again, stitching her wounds. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better that... hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Go clean up. You're in blood. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin... You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could I get some quiet in here? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple yes. of days. Yes, it has. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care Look what you did, Bigby. Please. You ruined that nice suit. I will. He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep. Much. Why is the doctor Just wearing a nice suit? And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. Do you got beef with him? So, how do you, um, feel? <laughs> um, it's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... or... died, I guess. Just kiss it, already! Um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? 
What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick hmm. desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I don't I know. he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. Is it he the mafia? about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swinehart said, okay? Uh, no. I want to kick some ass. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. Is, we just haven't noticed is it Big because B our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. I think so. Starting now, Big B is Batman. We do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of. Sure, you're not. Uh, Colin, I want to kick your ass now. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that, now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Who could that be? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? She wants uh, to go on a Bigby's date with me. She's got an admirer. You always do well with the uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. 
Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. She wants to go on a date with me, and that's I what it is. probably change out of these clothes. Yeah. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Nah, I like... I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Colin's been there for me. Hey, who wouldn't want a pig in his house? It'd be like having a pet pig. Uh, Big B Wolf. Security office. Hey, baby. I'm going on a date. She got her purse. Does that mean we're going on a date? I don't know, we'll have to see. Hopefully I do. Big B is single and ready to mingle. I love this intro. Episode 4 In Sheep's Clothing. Hey, Hi, Sheriff. What's going on a date? Hi, Narissa. Are we having a date in here? Have a seat. Aww. Are we going to share some booze? Some bourbon? Anyone got that? Know what it's from? We need a teapot and bourbon. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Cough, cough. Take a cigarette. You want one? Puff and puffs. Yeah. Not many people smoke those. What do you smoke? Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... Might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? Hmm. These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Which, by the way, you still owe me an Sometimes, appointment. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. 
So I hope you're looking after yours. Mm hmm. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. But your lips are sealed. It's that ribbon. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You Damn! Can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. I didn't want to just remove it. Don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... Comfort her. Take her on a date. Who is it? If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. What? Can you keep this conversation between us? Yes. I could be in a lot of trouble. I Should won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. I'll use your line. These lips are sealed. Hello. Sorry. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. It's okay, Snow. I got it. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Hmm. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is... I'm sure they called for a reason. Yes, Suppose they I better did. go check it out. Do, hmm. do. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. About? She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Hmm. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? No. That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay. I'm gonna go get fucked up again. I'm gonna need you to uh, 
have um first aid kit to tell me what you were into either. good reason look what happened so that's back on me now I thought we agreed that was settled you said knock knock hello oh hey what do you want hey well you're just going around knocking on doors you called right or uh was it beauty why would I call you I thought we settled Listen, this. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Beast. I had to hear about it all night long from her. You're being a dumbass. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. But <laughs> I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I don't uh, think you can trust him. Talk Not about living in the past. Right back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All One I'm little thing. We handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. I thought that was going to fall. I'm like, oh shit. That's why I called. We'll Oop. finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Uh, uh, I was going to say, are you guys going to come out? Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Are you pregnant? Snow told me you went to her for some financial help. Did you end up going to the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What? what if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hello? Is someone calling? Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Hey, Skiing we're not slow. done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. 
It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Is that Bluebeard? All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Tell me. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Hey, who's Jersey? Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes I'm there. I'm being now. messaged. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Mm hmm And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved <laughs> with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. <laughs> we shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. Then why don't you live we were back? Royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No, I wouldn't. I lived in the woods. No. Probably not. I'm a wolf. So I lived in the woods. Where are you going? With a pig. If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I can either go to the Lucky Pond or the Butcher Shop. Where would I like to go? Lucky pun or butcher? Lucky pun. Butcher. Lucky pun. I'm going to the lucky pun. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Yeah. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, 
but is there any way you could help us out? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Are we good, bro? Are we better? Is your attitude done? Good. Not time for me to kill the crooked man. Which I gotta look up. Like, he's from, I swear. It's him and Mary are from, uh, no, creepy pasta. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Oh, really? Yeah, Jack. Bigby's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Why would you think I'd take an ugly used mule skin coat? Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, the witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. The materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. I don't want to hear it. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. No, <laughs> I guess it shouldn't be. Since it's all bleeding up, you know what? Why don't you go to one of Train's Witch? Loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey. I mean, what kind of a Are game? You speaking Are you speaking pig? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, Stop speaking, pig. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Give Toad money. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've, I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. You know, Todd, I'm trying to help what? you out and you're being I'm a dick. Screwed. Drop by any time. Believe me, Toad. Always go to the farm. He really grows on you. Hey, Jack. Look, I told you I work here, and I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. Mm. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody hmm. else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Jack. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because uh... I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. 
Tell me about these loans. How do they work? Who collects? Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. What kind of things does he want in return? Could be anything, from the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to novelties of a more exotic nature. Mm -hmm. Like? Magic, memories, parts of you. It's bad. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. Yeah. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. <laughs> Let's look at stuff. Look. What is that? It's a chalice or something. Hey. Isn't this from Crane's apartment? Maybe. I don't know. You didn't go back over there and swipe it. I swear. On Toad's life. You're lying. I bet you you did. Hmm. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That the wasn't- The was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, just I want tell the me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... my fucking system. But you... You're the guy who makes sure that I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? Hey, Jersey. You love your ex so fucking much. Why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. Hiya, fellas. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Baby? Shut the fuck up. What is his ex even here? Nope, it isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, Bitch, I'm gonna punch he you. He wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought Can was I the murderer. Can I please punch him? chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know, the crooked man appreciated that. 
Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> You piece of shit! The same word. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> That's it? You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Ooh, I want to break his neck. You know snack. what? I'm just gonna handle you my- ah! You fucking mother- Oh, motherfucker! Oh. How do you feel right, now, bitch? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Hey, what up? <laughs> hey, look at your axe. Uh, your friend. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> Go on, try to stop me. I thought you'd fight back more than this. Had a rough night? There she is. She went away. You by the way. Hey, asshole. I found her. <laughs> ah, thank God I didn't like him. I need questions. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around, never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. 
You want to knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. I'll come back here and finish the job. <laughs> you got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Got a smoke? Give him one. I like Woody. gonna lie, I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. Is it really? Get the fucker who did it. Yeah. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. All right. Up to the butchers. Ah, who ruled the land? I don't know who ruled the land. The cut above. Butcher shot. But but a little but but no smoking. Big B don't give a shit. Stop smoking then. Be nice. Do, 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 do. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Let's look around. Right. Don't get a lot of drinks, bro. Not very appetizing. It looked freezer Frozen burnt. Solid. Who'd want to eat this? Not me. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've what? seen this before. That antique green leaves. Hey, buddy. Bigby Wolf? What 
happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pond, I... I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. Yeah, well, Jersey wasn't very helpful. In fact, he was a total asshole. Oh, sorry. I've uh, only been in that place a couple of times. Stop I, lying. I guess I don't know him too well. Why do people lie? Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her... I'm gonna have a problem with you, so you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on, I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. You press the button. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Hey, Johan. Get me killed. Use your legs to lift, not your back. Huh? You've gotta hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. You don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, Come on, Johan. No, please, you don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. It won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I, I don't know who or, or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the hmm. meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. 
I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Two button away! <clears throat> Black frost, no bleed. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for Why me. Why do people get pissed at me? Give a shit now cause the crooked man They're making trouble your for yourself. Something. Where were you when they took this place from me? I didn't even know that. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Are they making meth? Oh, uh, I so know what they're making. this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. This what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. I'm not understanding. I wouldn't oh what are they making here? Never mind. I'm just a butcher. You wanna talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. I'll check that big door in a second. Hold on. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Eh? Do I really need to explain this? Is that what Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? No, I'm gonna to touch all the stuff. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. I'm getting to touch all the stuff. Just like Clementine. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. Or is it still? Dang it. What the hell is that? What is this? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Yeah. No time for traveler's checks, huh? 
Take the money. You won't be needing this anymore. You won't. Check in this pocket. That sick piece of... Keep that. And last pocket. Has to be the glass shard. The shard? It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? I'll get uh, you out of it. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. No problem. All right. Yay! Well, let's go put the mirror back. Hey, there's there's a shield. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Let's Seems go. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Yeah, I want a kiss. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Yeah, in the shower. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Sure. He's probably watching Don't you in the far, shower. Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? I don't like Bluebeard. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's coat. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. That don't make sense. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and uh, they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. 
And I he can. really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Now bite on that bloody glamour. I only came in to see him. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Can I just now, pay I'm him? Sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Hey, I tried to give you money back at the Lucky Pond, but you wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. On the farm is always on the table. But of course. Hey. It's better to see someone happy. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. What? Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out, so... Get out of our hair. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? He's unglamored when this whole thing is over. I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand, or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. Guys like the Crooked Man, all they care about is money. Yes, they That's do. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in. Or maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Is it? Is it working? I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Uh -oh. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. So she's we able to, to sense if someone's threat, watching her. And that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. That's how he gets away. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. 
I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Yes, he, he does. He can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. Big B's hungry. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Big B is hangry. Ooh. I can't wait for this. The Gothic Bridge. Central Park, 90 Foot Street. Night time. Open it. Hurry. Let's go. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good Tim? evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the I'll one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Let's go, Tim. It's so weird seeing him growing up now. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. I get it. You have a job to do. But you got to ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've Good got. Good for him. But just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Can, can we slow hey, down? Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Make me. Go ahead. You got a job to do. It's the wolf. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Hey, fellas. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. All the people that I hate, except Why don't for her. You have a seat, Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. You know what? I'm not gonna fuck this up.
All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Ooh. Ooh. This is actually fun. <laughs> I can't wait for the last episode. I swear they should come out with season two. Some like where I, I heard know. stories about you. Oh god. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> hmm. I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> Ooh. I get to fight her. I get to fight Mary. Uh, what was it? Do, 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 do. Wait. Did you send Toad to the farm? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. That was loud. Ah, my ears. I think the last episode's gonna be very interesting. I don't know what awaits for me, but I can tell you, it's gonna be fun. Uh, man, Bigby, do you ever get a break? Screw get a break and then there's gonna be a second season and 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 Big B's gonna be like oh, I just I just really want a vacation. I really hope I mean come on tell us how please please come out with the season two. I mean you came out with uh The Walking Dead in three seasons. Four, actually, if you count the Michonne. And you had DLC for the season one. I don't think there's any other deal. I mean, if season two had a DLC, that would have been cool. But, yeah. Just waiting on this. But honestly, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, series. Uh, but then we're gonna stop for maybe stop Telltale for a little bit and go on to a different game and then when I get my gaming computer up and running uh, we'll be coming back to Telltale playing season 3 of The Walking Dead and probably play the Michonne too and uh, I'll be live streaming when I get my new computer be live streaming on YouTube so if you guys want to uh, be sure to hit that bell icon down below to get notified when I'm live streaming because uh, I'd love to enjoy you guys talking to you guys and all that. I'll be having dual screen. Uh, I don't know about face cam. I might work on that or something. I might get a new green screen maybe or something. I don't know. But uh, if you guys do enjoy this, please leave a like, comment, and if you are new, subscribe. And uh, we'll be seeing what happens next in episode five. But I will have to say, see you guys later. Peace out.